What is that clicking? Why do I hate that so much? Oh, 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 oh! Oh, they show it! Oh my gosh! Pleasure to meet you. My name is... Yep. You're seeing that tile correctly. The One Files 4 is now here. It has been nearly three years since the last major installment into the Walton Files series. And man, is it going to be worth the wait? My guess is yes, but we're going to go ahead and find out. So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome back to another reaction of the Walton Files. Dude, it seems like it was never going to happen, but here it is with number four. This one being called Cyber Fun Tech. I'm not exaggerating when I say I've spent all morning researching the Walton Files all over again, trying to remember some elements of the lore. And I think I stand up roughly where I was last time, if not a little bit better off. But please do excuse me if I get some of my lore wrong. It's nearly been 1,000 days since my last reaction. If you guys have never seen the Walton Files, you are in luck. There is already three amazing episodes and lots of shorter ones in between that piece together this very, very complex story. And we're not going to mess around with this introduction. There is something we got to react to and I'm very excited, bro. It's 36 minutes, hopefully, of high-octane content. If you guys do enjoy this video, I think you know exactly what to do. But without further ado, let's go ahead and check out Walton Files 4. I am excited. Take number four. Here we are again, mystery solvers. Something cooled down. Yeah, if you say that, I think your videos literally get like demonetized pretty much. And after three years, we finally got my art's VCR to work. I have so much to see, but I'm gonna start off with the technical stuff first. Back when I found the Bunny Farm tapes, I was met with a dead end. Bunny Smiles Incorporated Bonds Burgers gave me no more results. Locals had no more info. I went back into Connecticut to live with my dad. That was until my friend David approached me with an amazing find. David decided to ask locals about the terms at Walton instead. Apparently, that's a name that pops up a lot in the tapes. Haven't watched the tapes myself. LOL! We were directed to a vintage strip mall that had this one bowling alley Starley's. Originally, there was a workshop in that building instead. And when they moved everything out and Starley's brought this space, one locker remained, labeled Walton. Inside the box with a cheap safe. Apparently, the box has sat there for decades, but they haven't managed to bother to open it. Miran and David did some digging through the previous tapes and noticed a pattern. The code was 722. Curious. Inside, there was a total of 23 tapes. I moved back to Bryan, Michigan to help my friends fix, clean, and compile these tapes into what we call the Cyberfun Tech Collection. This is part one of three. What? Wait, wait, wait. They're gonna bombard us with even more? Well then? Cyberfun Tech is a company that funded and created most BSI projects. It's unclear whether CT owned BSI or whether they were simply partner companies, but perhaps CT brought BSI at some point. Either way, all these tapes were labeled Cyberfun Tech. And supposedly, these were supposed to be handed over to technicians and artists. I should note, some bits of this compilation are weird. On some screens, it would appear as minutes and minutes of empty static, and on other screens, it would appear to be white screen with faint voices heard on them. As for me, I'm doing great. The past three years were filled with some of my happiest and saddest moments, but I'm still standing. I'm going out on vacation with my girlfriend for a few weeks. I'll post parts two and three when I turn, return at the end of the month, Anthony. So literally the end of February, we're going to get a continuation from this. This is exciting. So what is BSI? Let me introduce to you guys Bunny Smiles Incorporated and what it is. Bunny Smiles Incorporated, often shown to Bunny Smiles Inc. or BSI, was a company created by Cyberfun Tech. The idea of BSI was initially created by Jack Walton and Felix Kranken, who pitched the idea to Cyberfun Tech and Norman Paltrick and subsequently succeeded. Being founded somewhere in 1967, the first company tape directed to the new employees was recorded on April 15th, 1960 and it was narrated by Felix. BSI was responsible for Bonds Burgers and his related properties such as Little Bonds Neighborhood and the Bunny Farm Arcade Game. On December the 10th, 1974, BSI began to use canine storage facility located in Santa Juana's Forest to keep the animatronics away safely. So right out of the bat, it does pay to know the following lore a little bit, even just brush back up what you thought you knew and maybe forgotten because there is lots of stuff like the canine facility, what happened there. Either way, let's check this out. This is Cyberfun Tech. Let's see what this company's all about. Was it wise? You know, BSI to join up with them? Okay, why, uh, why are we being teased with the red balloon? I feel like we've already felt this with Pennywise. Okay, blue balloon. We like that. All about the fun, right? All about the fun? Okay. So I think this is linking to the aftermath, perhaps, of, uh, after the crash. We'll see, because this looks like a school. Like, whoa, whoa, hey! Yo, this is dope! Okay, so there's the two kids. A little plush in the back. I forget, no, it, I think that's Rocket, right? Let's go. So are we seeing from a new perspective what happened here? Yeah, the spring party event, yeah, okay. So this I think way. Felix is here right now. Maybe if it's the same event. We shall see. It's a loud pie, though. There he is. And go greet him, guys. Is he the only one left, though? What's if one else gone? The adult zone. No children allowed. Oh, shoot. Well, we're going back there anyway. Okay, why is it glowing like that? 
was feeling a bit euphoric, but what followed was the furthest thing from that. Well, what is this? I mean, it's a field with some fog, all right? I know what that is, but I'm saying, why? Yeah, what is this? What the freak was that all about? Bunny Smiles Inc. Distribution, Cyberfun Tech Company. Interesting. So are we going to get snippets like that intertwined? So this is what was found on the tapes. I think that was more of a flashback. Bond Burgers! There's Bond! Uh, don't like how he twitches. Those kids do, though. Hey! Cyberfun Tech. There it is. We'll chase our dreams across the sky. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, why would you release this? It's a, why is there a kid like that, bro? Oh. Okay, well, if that's not trying to tease that this company somehow got some weird shady past, I don't know what is. It's like small hints like that. Just so you guys know, Cyberfun Tech, it's not happy, you know? It's not all sunshine and rainbows. Wouldn't it have been sweet if it could have simply been that, guys? Bond's Burgers promo. Oh, is this what they compiled together? Then they made this um, sort of thing. So I have a fun programming demo. Oh, okay. This might be interesting. Like, how were they programmed? We want to know stuff like that. There's uh, a lot of important things that we might see. Bunny Smiles Incorporated. I think that's his employee notes. A personal for essential or professional use only. Charles Block. Want we'll to see the date? Hi, just got officially hired as a computer supervisor. Can I please? Just got hired officially as the computer supervisor for, uh, what does that say? Something, something smiles restaurant. I think Bunny Smiles. Thought I've been coming up with a few names myself. I've known these guys for a while. They're family. I don't even, bro, these were, I don't know what the freak that says. I've something, some work for them along with Susan for years now, even before Cyberfun Tech. Getting to meet the Waltons and the crew. Cro uh, uh, bro, what's that? Crokins, I think it is? Kranken has been super fun. Kranken being the other person. So it was Walton and Kranken. These are the two people who had the idea of like Bonds and everything like that. Bonds Burgers. They put the animatronic stuff together. So excited to get to work. The future is bright. Uh, 27, 112, we got CB. So those are some initials right there. CB. I don't know who that could be. Come join the party. The white version though. Is that meant to be Rocket? Where's that actual bond? Ah, oh, there he is. Hey, there they are, should I say. They got full performances as well, the showstoppers. And they, uh, they definitely jam it out. Yeah, very, uh, ecstatic and glitchy. And I guess, all right, there's another one. He's hitting the bozo. Oh, he's hitting the vibrato. <laughs> he does it best. Maybe he's got the upper hand, you know, programming and all that. Nice field of tulips. Look at those things, man. Beautiful. There's going to be lots of symbolism here. I think uh, some things will be missed. There's Banny. All right. There's all the happy kids. So this must be before the instant, one would assume. Like, there's a whole timeline here. I don't know if these little inkers are just like, you know, make the kids happy. You know, wow, so magical, so fun. It could well be. Yeah, there you go. Getting the performance of your lifetime. Number three, we got Sha. So basically, everyone is a collective band, but they each do their individual things at the same time, too. And I think this is all it's showing, guys, right? It's a promo, you know? It's meant to showcase what this place is, how joyful, how incredible this tech is. Because for the time, this was revolutionary. Really, really was. Very special. All right, in the fields again, not eerie at all. You know, kind of uh, feels weird. Um, wait, 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 wait. What? Hang on, let's go back. Hold up. What was that saying? There was like some static. Uh, I don't know what that's saying. Employees only. Maybe they led someone back there. I don't know. And there is, of course, Bond, the main character himself. Yeah, let's get that close up on an already creepy looking guy. Very soulless eyes. Back for the time. This is what you got, guys. You know, now we're spoiled. And he's gonna sing it too. Just like the other ones. Now, I, I want to know the timeline. I think it said 72 in the uh, the letter that was written. That would help us link whereabouts in the timeline it is. If so, I might check back just to double check. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. What the freak was that? 72 CBF, okay? Cyber... Fun, whatever, bro. Beautiful, isn't it? 
This is one of the first mech models built by Cyberfun Tech to oh. bring the magic of Bond's burgers to life. Ah, so they're showcasing it, I see. Today, we're Whoa. taking a journey through the Cyber magic telly. of the showstoppers and how they were created. This is like a like history lesson. Like we're to do about the quality of our company. Sure, and the strange things that happen after that. So there is Bond's... Who is that, bro? Hold on, we're taking that. Who is that? We keep seeing that face over and over again. Yo, who is that? They're wearing a suit and tie. I don't know if that's the uh, the founder of Cyberfun Tech or if that's another character within. Hopefully we'll learn. But we've seen that same sort of snap twice unless there's small alterations between. So here we go. These are the showstoppers, the whole crew together. Yep, aren't they just great? Where's the clown in that, though? You know how you don't see them now? Wait, did we, we didn't really get a talk about the clown, did we? These are the showstoppers. The face of Bunny Smiles, Inc. Concept art is a very vital part of any good design. That is true. So many different ideas to... Better to get them on paper. The Bunny Smiles, right. Incorporated art department was in charge of pitching up yep. multiple designs for the characters. It is what we think. I'm looking for something weird amongst these, you and know? And creating the designs we all know and love. Okay, there's the clown one and Bon. Rosemary Walton, loving wife of... Is yeah, a you can say that. Artist with a huge passion wait, for wait, poetry wait. and the theatrical. Why did they censor Jack's name? Art pieces Interesting. Before becoming the lead artist in BSI. She's uh -huh. the one in charge of making the final designs that would later become the characters they are today. Big role. I think I always had a pretty clear idea about uh -huh. what it looked like in my mind. The designs just made sense to me. Some rough sketches, maybe? There is flicks in this, dude. I'm feeling like I'm missing things. Still being simple enough, so they can be easy to remember. Bill the Clown? Uh, wait, why, though? Why did it show her face stretch like that? Dude, there's just so many weird things. All the time. Most of each Cyberfront to make their blueprints for the animatronics. But we all got so invested to the idea that we decided to have a full partnership with BSI. Okay, Bunny Smiles Incorporated. Nah, dude, I'm going back. These little flashes, bro, they can't keep doing this. So it's, look, you can see it's some kind of face amongst that, perhaps. If you probably brain that, you might see more. Oh, okay, the show continues. Bunny Smiles. Bro, for Bunny. What is with this? Okay, there's the kids interacting. Wait, that kid on the left did not look happy, though. All right, yeah, looks fun. There's so many weird things in this, bro. This looks like vintage we footage. We added a ton of features into the models. That one's blinking and looking around. That's so weird. even make them have the ability to walk and interact with the audience. Yeah, that's so great. Very, very sentient almost. We just gave the illusion of that, like... What are we looking for? It's... I don't know if we should be freaked out by this or not. Perhaps not. I hate the contrast with this type of music, bro. Whoa, whoa, oh my gosh, there is so much text there, bro. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can't read that, you can look as much as you want. I can't read that. Cyberfun, we see all that. All right, yes, yes, we'll answer soon. Hold all right, your knocking was heard. Let's go ahead and reverse this text. All right, let's give this the old flipperoony and, uh, okay, I still can't read this. I think we give it also the other flipperoony and then we flip it back again. Okay, great. Mr. Crankit, this is Norman. I'm sending you this something something on behalf of our deal between Bunny Smiles and Cyberfun Tech and most importantly, the well-being of our staff. We've been getting a lot of complaints about something of our staff going missing who was, people started going missing. Susan Woodings has been something or has been missing for a week and now here in Cyberfun at Tech. It's really hard to read this side of things, man. Either way, it sounds like Cyberfun is uh, getting a bit concerned with staff members going missing and it seems like things kept happening and they wanted help locating these missing employees. You guys can, of course, pause and read this yourself. I'm going to be entirely honest with you, Mr. Crank, and tell you I have a ton of questions and suspicions about whatever is going on with your company. Whatever it is, it's making both your company and mine look bad to the public. So again, if there's anything that something would help us find Susan, write us back immediately. So Susan, who was talking just then, has gone missing, and it sounds like they want answers, but Mr. Cranken, maybe he's gonna give them? I don't know. I don't think so. This dude is, he's corrupt, man. A lot of bad stuff for him. And probably some bad stuff for him, too. The console. Here is where all the information and code is stored in the audio animatronics. Okay. Can walk, sing, Nice with movement, the voiceover variety, walk around, facial tracking. Have they managed to feel so lifelike to our audience? 
Well, the consoles also were able to recognize specific people and places. Like returning people? That'd be kind of creepy though. Imagine a robot being like, hey, how you doing? VSI console, something, something allows for, I wish these were translated, bro. It's so hard to read the text on these sometimes. Uh, week one, week two, hold up. So this one's about notes. It says about Susan not disappointing. Like this is just crafting the files we can see here. Like Carl, Danny knocked over the table, rework room, recognizing feature on the test went well. Recognize Sophie right away. This is, I think it says neat. I don't know. But something trig bit went ra, ra something, it, bro, can you just write more clean. I say that my writing is just as bad, if not worse. Fanny fix test went as planned. Something, something. So make stuff like another one. The test went good. So they were progressing. There was talk about Sophie in that one as well. Sophie, of course, is another character in this series. Sophie Walton. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, build them up. Cyberfun A. New logo. New opening. Interactive, okay. Cyberfuntech, is this a new off branch of Cyberfuntech? I don't know. It could be like a video game thing, could be like the interactiveness. Yeah, I wanna know. There's us, huh? What is this, huh? That's what he's saying. The walk around test. Yeah, I don't worry, it's working. First we need to- Is the console on? Yes. By any chance. Yes, Charles, I just told you. Okay. All right, all right. Uh, I'm CB, that, this could be Charles, I know. right? Don't worry, this isn't the first test we need to do with the robots. Alright, great. So that might be the guy who was saying about working right? with them. Oh, he's happy. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. We will see. Right. <clears throat> Rubs a hat together. Three, three, three. Movement. Movement. Alright. So they're just checking right, out so how they work. Let me get the console working. Working? Yeah. Okay, hang on a second. Can we see more? Ah, so we're seeing this must be better. Susan and. We place the tunnel objects around the room. The animatronic is supposed to get to us without okay. bumping into any of the tables, boxes, chairs. Dude, couldn't yeah, you deal with like. Good to me. Non humans? The robot falls or comes across any object. It's but working. Then we're just gonna have to test this out again until we get this right. It'll be a long night then. You better come <laughs> stack with food, caffeine. I mean, it's doing well, right? All right, everything seems fine so far. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, it's, it is going a bit close, right? Oh, shoot. Oh, that robot just shot down. They're going to pick the robot back up. The robot tripping on a table. Check the draw. I think Jack left. Okay, again, Jack named. He got cut out. Jack Walter. I don't know. Facial recognition. Looking like something out of Mozart's artwork. Are we seeing that? Facial tracking as well, so we can follow you. That is just so creepy, though. Okay, this is in 1974. That's so weird, bro. Imagine you're like moving around and robots are looking at you. No, I know. I'm just uh, a little worried. Did Linda call? She did, yeah. I'm going to be totally honest with him. No one can hear He's probably drinking somewhere in town. Yeah. Is Jack or uh, Rose No, nope. I don't think Linda told him. That's Wallace. Susan, we have to tell them. I think even Chris knows about the addiction. I just focus on work. Yeah. Shall we? Right. right. So that's what they were trying to so, do. So, uh, I'm checking my notes right now. What's up to do? Well, normally they can start testing the facial tracking. This system. is complex, so man. So we're going to have the robot walk around and see if it recognizes our faces. Ah, okay. Jack brought in Molly here and the council recognized them. Test on different yeah. models? So we're going to do a secondary test because the console seems to have trouble detecting the faces. Oh, the All test right. we did with Sophie. Right. All right, mm -hmm. so it's making its way around the okay, tables just good. Right. I think it's moving and grooving. Really, by the way. He's fine. Spending time with the mother for the weekend. They're working over the weekend. All right. Well, they're straight up on him. Whoa. Identifying face. Yep. It's scanning that. It is checking that. That's good. Whoa. What is this, though? The face is it seen? Like, checking which one? Maybe it's found them? It builds in 3D to see. There it is. Okay, uh, does that match though? I guess it does. Good enough for the robot. So it recognizes Su Susan Woodings, alright. What about the other guy? This should be CB, right? Yeah, do your thing. Do it right. For the benefit of the staff. Don't take him out. That was a quick find, to be honest. It definitely, I think that's him, yeah, I think we're good. 
Charles Brook, there it is, so it worked. Ah, great. Everything seems to be working properly. Huh. That's so good. That no more testing for today? Yep. Maybe Fair not. Enough. Hey, they did. Wait, there's uh, some text wait. in the bottom corner there. We that see that? really the beer right now. That reminds me of what we were talking about earlier. It was Felix. Uh, yeah. Hopefully these things don't record that, because if Felix plays that back, they're going to be good. So he was drinking a lot. I wonder if he was drinking and stuff like that to suppress the staff going missing. Wait, 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 who the heck was that? Bottom left corner, check this out. Right here. I wonder if that could be Charles' daughter? Maybe? That could be, was it, I think her name was Lily, I'm not sure. This next test was, uh, the name was censored, so that is a bit suspect. What does that mean? That's what I heard, man. He was drunk. Well, this is him learning the oh, incident. Do you know what that was Oh my gosh. Did tell her? It was private, Charles. Only the family were there. Right? As it should be? Not just like that. Oh, Jack holding up. Facial tracks. I've been a long while. I barely even see him at work. Yeah, because he disappeared and no one really knows. Story. Why, don't you? Story? I think it's boring. I think something else happened to man. So Felix isn't telling the absolute truth. Wait, wait, hold up. All the crew is there. So they're gone? There they all are. All the animals. Five. Molly and Ed. Who's the sixth one? Potentially under the tarp there. I don't even want to think about it. Okay, the whole cast. <laughs> they ain't moving. It did say facial recognition, though, from one of them. Hid it here? What's he hid? Okay. It's scary how this facial track is like happening in the distance. Let's, let's just check up on the other ones for now. Let's check up on the games. Well, they're getting close to Bon Bon. I think the name is. Okay. They just they leave. So with the room empty, what happens? Uh, that is so interesting. That is, oh, yo, hold on. I'm going to pause a second just so we're back to scratch with the law. So at the end of the third video, I believe it was, when we see the accident go down with Felix and uh, obviously Jack's two sons, he obviously crashes his car. They both pass away. And then what Felix does is he buries them in a forest and he tries not to tell Jack about what happened. But we see the kind of gray bunny placed on top of the grave site. And I believe that bunny is called Rocket. And then there's this weird glitchy sequence that happens. We see two, what presumably looks like souls, obviously could be the kids, entering Rocket. And then from there on, it's like the souls are within this suit here. And now we're seeing, of all things, we know the accident's gone down, a funeral's happened. Rocket's back now in the establishment and Rocket's the one moving out of all of them. So now we see what happens from here on. This this could be the kids learning about, uh, you know, if they were light or like what Felix did to light. But he's, hold on, he's gone to here instead. That could be the two souls represented. Facial tracking. It's seeing the two souls of the kids, bro. They left, they left Rock here. And they're tracking them. It's gonna find them. Ah, oh, check this out. That would be creepy. The souls of the, uh, Jack's kids entering the establishment again. If true, that's, uh, ugh. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This is actually a kind of exciting bit. The freak is that N64 looking face though. Are you gonna match someone with that? Hold up. No face is found. But there is two. Is that three detected? Wait, who's the third? You guys can reverse that. That may have been the two people implanting a soul into that animatronic. Maybe. Which was what we just saw then with the one face, the red flash, and then that. Audio log number three. Okay, something. What are you doing there? 1974 again. This is June 30th. I can't even hear what's happening. All I know is the animatronic they went up to is gone. Who is. Th Wait, who's that? Bro, Abominable Snowman has entered the ring? What is that? It's a face, it's an upside down face. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is he gonna enter Bond? Hold on, we find out. Just past. Who is that that entering Bond? <gasps> Yo, that's the soul who entered the main character. And that's when Bond took over. I don't think we know who this character is. Wait, okay. Um, who the freak was that? There was so much story. This is so exciting, man. Hang on, hang on. I think it's this one. 
Nah, 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 nah. Bro, I still missed it. That looks like Susan, right? That's Susan who went missing. Is that Susan or is that or is that Jack's wife? Now, nah, bro, I don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, that's definitely Susan. I just flicked between these two. You can see the face is the exact same in uh, both of these shots. So that's, okay, that's, that's Susan Woodings. Oh, there she is. She's listening to a radio. Oh, we see it. So this is what was hidden back here, and they wanted to collect, right? Is this what's going on? This animation style is very creepy. It's very, like, eerie. And there's Bond. There's something in there now, though. Yep, yep, yep. Up close on him. Not too close, though. Don't look too close, Susan. Oh, I'm nervous. Hey, there they are, yeah. Family, there's Jack. And I guess that's Phoenix to the other side. And there's Rocket. We see him in the back, but I think she's just turned her back to them. Hello? Whoa, whoa. Uh, what the freak was that? It just fell on the floor. I don't know if she's entirely scared. Maybe she don't gotta be. She's coming up on it though. She's like, what the freak? How did this happen, huh? How did it happen? What's in the box? Is this what we found and we're now like digging through? The 23 tapes? I don't know. What is that clicking? Why do I hate that so much? Oh, 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 oh! Oh, they show it! Oh my gosh! Wait, wait, wait! Oh! Oh, oh my god! She's still alive! That's even worse! So, a soul came in, took over Barn, and did this! But who is this soul? Oh, lights out for you, Susan. Lights out. Is he strangling her? I believe so. And Susan went missing and letters were written to Felix. So this is what maybe was happening in between those letters. Cyberfun had no idea. But Felix must have known. Felix knew this was happening, maybe. Oh my goodness. What is he? Like, you hear the crowd? The crowd are pouring? Pouring? I can't even say words anymore, guys. So this must be the drive. Was this all happening, like, simultaneously? This is Felix. One would assume. Maybe if I see the kids in the back, I don't know if I do. He hops out straight to business. Bro, it's taller than the house. How? How is that possible? Heavy breathing like that. What's going on? I'm trying to listen to everything now. I can barely hear that. Okay, this is Jack knocking the door. This is Felix's home. So this is probably after he, after he couldn't find out where his kids were. This is just maybe the same night of the accident. Felix isn't talking to him now. He ignored him. So here is Jack, not knowing what happened to his kids. Come on, Lord. I told you don't I mean, you would want to find them, right? Banging on the windows. One sense. It's so dark inside, though. We can't see it. Yo, I don't know what the heck is happening. Neither does Jack. Felix. You have to break that window down, I think, at this rate. You're gonna have to. What is that? Um, I hear a stream babbling. 
Well, who the freak is that man? May the third? Oh, shoot, this is after... He wasn't home. So this is maybe the hole he dug for the uh, the kids? This is definitely uh, Felix, though. And there's Rocket. Yeah, your, your actions did this. What the freak was that, bro? True grave sites. What's with that third one? What's with that? Yo, am I lost in this lore? What's happening? Did he dig his own grave or something? What's going on? Was he gonna bury himself too? What did you do, Felix? What did you do? Ah, that's... It's a horrible sight. Was he wearing a mitten of some kind? What is that, bro? It's like bloodied up. Just walking off. Away, I guess, from everything. Back to his car. Huh. A babbling brook. Is he contemplating just jumping in or something? Or is he gonna try and dispose of those? He tried to cover every piece of evidence he could. I sure hope I'm understanding this right. I really hope I am. Yeah. Yeah, Rocket sees all, by the way. Rocket sees everything. I'm trying to bury that, make it all just be forgotten. That is so morbid, man. A child's shoe. Anything to get rid of the evidence of what he did, you know? Oh, he's thinking about it. Did he do it, though? Uh, hold up, hold up. He might. Oh, my gosh. He didn't. Couldn't do it. But what he can do is be reckless and take out the lives of two innocent children. This person. Horrible. Horrible, horrible person. It's really cool how we get to see all of the in-betweens now. Like, we knew this happened, but now we're seeing, like, the actions it's, uh, following. So this is from Felix, May the 5th. Three days what? after the accident. He carried on. He went home. I haven't been able to sleep since last week. Oh, uh, boo-hoo. Yeah, your choice has made this happen. I finally told him what happened. Did it, he... it was in my office. Those There's a flush in the bottom left corner. We see that? My life. There's a bunny in there. I don't know if that's Rocket. It's the most painful conversation I've ever had. So did he come clean to... Uh, Pain in their eyes, the, the anger. They both hate me now. I'm surprised that's all. <laughs> I don't blame him. I have no idea what's, what's going to happen to me now. My life, my business, everything. You really lost it all, but, didn't you? But the fact, the fact they're still buried down there. Ah, uh, he didn't tell him that, though. He me every night. He me up inside. <laughs> Rosemary oh, asked about the doll. I, I told her they, they, that they left it at school. Nah, you still got it. That was a lie. I don't know what to do with the doll. Wherever I go, there it is. And I can't get myself to get rid of it. Covered in blood, a reminder of what but happened. a constant reminder of this huge mistake. And how there's nothing Who I can do that? to make it better. Bro. Who the freak? Uh, is that a second face or a hat? That's a second face, bro. Two people. I don't know if that's the soul was right there. Was that them entering? Or was that just making their presence known like they're still linked to this? We already know they're in there, bro. Those children. The same what? animatronic. Ooh, the reverse crying! Is that the souls trying to get in? Are they wait, are they in rocket now? Oh, that'll be terrible. If the if the rockets, oh, that is so scary. 
That's making my eyes tear up, bro. I'm actually scared. <laughs> they didn't leave. Make it stop. They stayed with Uncle Felix. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. We don't care about your apologies, Uncle Felix. Are they gonna be a very painful reminder to the very end? Well, that's what I'm thinking, bro. We found these tapes when watching them, but like, there's a big past here. What happened? There he is, July the 1st, 74. That's quite a long time after, isn't it? Who is that? What the freak are they doing? What's that slimy sa- There's Bonnie, or Bon. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Is this with Susan? Someone's in that suit, man. And those kids are watching something go down. Bro, 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 bro. I don't think that's someone sleeping, guys. I think that's literally like... They're like in their final breathing moments, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. I just thought about that as a concept. I think that's what I'm hearing. That is, uh, that's pretty disturbing. There's, a, there's like a very graphic detail in there. I think it's like something when, when the human body experiences some kind of trauma, it's like what what tends to happen is the kind of the breathing, they'll kind of, you know, the, the, the breathing is like the only thing that kind of remains and it's f trying to force it. Like everything else has already gone. They're already like, they're already dead by this point, basically. But the body is trying to force oxygen into the body to keep it alive. But they're already too far gone to figure damage, just graphically beyond repair. And that's what we're hearing in the background, was Bon, and now Brockett with the souls inside, they're witnessing whatever they're doing. Maybe this is the soul that enters now the uh, pink animatronic. Knowing that detail, look, this, the two colored eyes, two souls in one suit, it's what it is. Quick. She's in here. Molly, I don't think we should. You saw what he did to her. He made her bleed, so this is talking about Bon. I don't want her to be hurt anymore. It's not fair. So the sister within the soul doesn't want this. Oh, it's like... Hold up, hold up. Two conflicting things though. She doesn't deserve this, we have to. The, the sister wants to find, but maybe Mo, uh, maybe Ed isn't so, you know, drawn to it. But he's, he's listening now, he's playing ball. So they both have to cooperate to control uh, Rocket. And is this Susan? This must be some kind of afterlife purgatory. Oh my gosh! It is a second afterlife purgatory like state. Oh my goodness. I'm waiting for two little kids to emerge. Wait, who's that? Susan. I'm here. I don't know if that's the soul of Bon. Where are you? The, the person in Bon, because they sound like an animal. Don't yeah, you worry. He's going to make him read Bon, right? Hands, Susan. Welcome I don't like his tone. to Wonderland. Your new home. Zap from Isn't life. It beautiful. It really is not. Like, like Dead? It. No, 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 oh. no, 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 no. I don't think he's telling the truth here. Not yet. Oh, At she least. will be. Oh your my heart is still beating. A labored breast. But man. your body is now functionless. Out there, you're slowly suffocating. The real world. But here, you're safe. She don't look it. The spirit doesn't pass on quite as fast as the body does. So it remains in I would know. <laughs> yes, answer the question. Oh, where are my manners? Pleasure to meet you. My name is... Who is this? Bon, and you're Susan. 
I knew there was a soul in there, but who is he? I am you. I know you very well. This is a new person, I think. I know you like to fix things. This is the same person we saw twice before. Well, so do I. The money you do it is right. me to fix you? What are you talking about? He's gonna purr inside the other suit. This was there, this was it. I could help you. Thank you. That's a very FNAF 2 nod if this gift Take of life is there. Inside. Is it gonna be the gift that is gonna be there? It is, yeah. Yeah, and that's how she got that locked in that one. Is the new you a wonderful gift that will eventually become your new body? Inside Just the suit. Like man. a beautiful butterfly. Bursting from a cocoon. Hey, Cyber for Tech! will be reborn. We know where Susan is. You don't have to listen to me. Oh, he's down to get rid of her. Up to you. He'll just do it again, take someone else. What other choice do you have? She probably has no idea, right? can't survive without being tethered to a vessel. I don't I like know this person. You're I don't like this person at all. I got a bad I feeling about this. Too, but everything will be okay. I, I, huh. I got apologies for what I had to do to you. Yeah, kill her, murder but look, her. The hard part is over with now. The bloodied hands of Bond. Oh, you. Can't make an omelette without breaking a few eggs. That's your description of death? What you did to her? <laughs> Who says that? Well, she's more sadistic than I thought. Wakey wakey! The labor breathing is still. Why is she still feeling? Hey, bro, you said I won't feel anymore. She's woken up and she's still in pain. Her breathing is still messed up. So how are these guys still here? Will she be all right? She's back in the real world, but you guys can be there too, right? How of them? I don't know. They have to wait for another victim to come through? They have to wait for another killing to communicate again? Come on, Molly, he says. Let's go. So away they go. Into Wonderland. Why, though, bro? Why? So that's the, I guess, the true story of Susan. Cyberfun Tech, they asked that question, like, oh, you know, we're worried, like, where is she? That's uh, her story, Susan's story. She was uh, involved a lot with the production of this stuff. I don't know who that other person is now. I am so interested to know more about uh, who that soul was. We have no idea who that identity is. Maybe people do, maybe we do, and I've missed it completely, but uh, yeah, I, I absolutely do not. That's how we close out The Walton Files Episode 4. Just waiting for the end because, uh, you know, usually... To be continued in part two. I mean, we knew it was coming. We knew it was coming. That's so exciting. Because I was thinking, like, before watching this, oh, you know, we waited a long time for uh, this video. 36 minutes is a lot. But knowing that there's going to be two more parts, potentially, to this, broken up into three segments, that's so sick, man. There's going to be so much content here. Yeah, this looks... Someone else said the same thing here as well. Like, uh, it's called agonal breathing. They sound almost like snoring, snorting, or gasping. It's not actually true breathing. Natural, yeah, look at that. Oh my, that is so graphic to even think about, bro. What a touch like that. And the thing is, most people wouldn't know what that is, but then when you read this content, you get shivers behind it. The current theory on Bond is that it's sort of remnant adjacent. Bond isn't Jack itself, but he's sort of a manifestation of Jack's anger and sadness and grief all poured into one entity. And that took over Bond, and it's got its own set of morals related to death and afterlife and also the Wonderland. If it's simply just the anger and sadness, it's uh, gonna have much more 
more malicious intent, potentially. Now, I don't know if it's ever been confirmed that uh, Jack Walton is actually dead. Obviously, we'll learn in this episode that Felix did tell them both about the accident and he, uh, you know, now hates them. But I, I don't I don't really know who that soul could have been. This could make sense, but that would depend on if, uh, you know, Jack Walton did pass on after learning about what happened to his kids. Now that we know what went down, but it seems like maybe Felix still withheld the body's location from them, which is kind of messed up. People are saying that, you know, he, uh, he ended his life and then, you know, that could be the possession of Bond because people have been theorizing anyway that maybe Bond is uh, actually Jack from the start. But now we're seeing like, you know, him killing people and stuff like that. I don't know if that would have been his true intention. So it's interesting whose soul that could be. Maybe it's a new character. Maybe it's not. I don't know. We see him in a suit though. So it could also be Jack. That could be the link of like authoritiveness within uh, something here. Definitely some cool touches though. Like we also saw like Ed and Molly, which was Jack's two kids who uh, he killed in the car crash. They haunted Felix about what happened. Felix couldn't get rid of the uh, the doll. And I guess it was like bringing that home with him, the attachment to that. The kids obviously were able to latch their souls onto it. And he brought that back into his home. And uh, yeah, I, I do want to, I want to see more about that development. I guess we didn't, fi we didn't finish seeing all of that part. We just now know that's what's going down. There's lots of new leads here, lots of new things that have been introduced. And now it's just knowing more about like what's, uh, what they're going to mean, what they're going to add up to. And hopefully we will learn in the upcoming different Walton Files videos. Guys, I could theorize for days like I might be spewing absolute doo-doo by this point. And if I am, you guys can call me out in the comments and definitely share your own ideas down below. Back it up with the evidence that I missed, but I'm sure there's so much unique stuff that's like cutting here. Small frames here and there. It's probably how this is going to go down. This is what we needed though. Like that new sort of secretive theorizing heavy series. This is really, really cool. I'm uh, excited to see what the next two ones are. And hey, I'm, I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. But like until that point, guys, this was the Walton Files number four. The original video is linked down below. I definitely subscribe to the Walton Files too to keep up to date with this series as it does continually develop. I think there's going to be a lot of new information coming our way very soon. For this one, however, guys, that is going to be everything. And I really hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, why not drop me that like crane? And hey, if you're new around here, want to subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy. I just have so many questions. I just want to know what they all mean.